when it was when I heard it was religious really there was still a celebration and I heard somebody who died in the course of celebrating. Now they know what it means they arrest them. <laughs> so we don't know, we don't know about the arrest. What do we know about they don't release our brother? Our brother don't come again. We don't say we go enjoy again. What did you go go PDP? Now they share the money. So would you love would you much so much love a bori? Now we are live in Ogara town, the hometown of the former governor of Delta State, Chief James Onanefe Ibori. And as you can see, that's the roundabout called Ibori Roundabout. This place is lively, it's wonderful. And over here is the road that leads to his house. Okay, um, actually we're here today to find out from some of the indigents of this town, as well as some of the residents, what they think about him being released and um, the actual crime that got him convicted in the first place. Let's find out. It's no longer a news that um, Chief James Onanefe Ibori, the former governor of Delta State, has been released. So now, as um, an indigenous of Ogara, how does that make you feel? Well, I'm, I'm very, very grateful to God because this is our prayer for a long time now. You, you know, it's like a lion that has been released from the cage. Ibori is a lion, so to say, in all world. If you look at the social media everywhere in this world today, they are all happy because of just a single person that has been released from prison. The news is a great one, you know. Knowing that uh, the man is finally out of jail should make everyone happy, you know. Especially me. I'm happy that he's out. I am happy that they don't release our brother. Are we happy where we will grow for Ibori self? We dance, carry DJ for one of my brother's place. Well, immediately we had his release from UK. Everyone was overwhelmed and... People are very happy, jubilation all over, all over the place. It gives people many things to do when they don't get work. So when I hear say they come, are they happy? So we're happy to say, but you don't come, Sha. Because as he come, now we say this Christmas, I go make wele wele for us. Everything go they gallant. Uh, I believe it's coming out. It's a freedom to the people of Delta State. And at the same time, the freedom to his people of his community and Nigeria at large. I'm very happy to welcome the man who made this infrastructure for us. It gave us the light as a student. It gave us hope and opportunity to learn in this conducive environment. And we are very happy to welcome him to this community. Are here in his hometown? Was there any some sort of you know celebration, any ceremony you know towards his release? Uh, yes, yeah, there's a very lot of celebrity. They celebrate the youth, the elder ones, the women celebrate. When it was when I heard it was religious, there was a celebration, and I heard somebody who died in the course of celebrating. Um, do you really know how the person lost his, uh, his life? How did this happen? Uh, it happened during the celebration. Though it, 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 the person is a cyclist rider, so when he was jubilating with his uh, machine, so he was about to cross this express, but he couldn't. I don't know what really happened. The vehicle that is coming from this way, it just rushed him down. So before we got there, the, the guy has already died. He died on spot. So we are very happy. We jubilate. We celebrate. Like everybody was like happy that the man that did this good thing for us is already back. Okay, now as you can see, we are right now in front of the residential apartments of the former governor of Delta State, Chief James Onanifi Ibori, right here in his hometown, Ogara of Delta State, Nigeria. And standing right next to me is Mr. Samuel. Good afternoon, sir. Uh, good afternoon. So now that he's been released, um, what can you say is um, the way forward for him? What you know is the next line of action that he's you know likely to take? Uh, the way forward, uh, my my boss is not only the way he used to say. He's not only a politician. He's a businessman. Uh, he will come home, but politics in his blood. Mandela got convicted or went to prison. He came back and became president. Obasanjo, uh, former president went to jail, eh? came back and be president. And the Bori is out now. I leave the rest to go too. He's coming back, I believe he's going to, even in the prison, he's still playing the politics. Anybody who is coming as a governor in Delta State, you always be a person of Ibori. So therefore, Ibori is still on ground politically. When you talk about the federal, and I believe he's climbing there, and I believe he has one or two things over there. Make him make, make him help us beg our brother so that they could pay secretary at swear. They pay workers swear. If money did it turn out, Christmas go make one go no go no go no. That's why just be and beg. Light, make our light stay stable. Make our light stay stable. No light. We're gonna pay a uh, light be all the time. I beg. I will expect him to be calm, be smart and be alert. Because one thing we have to say is just coming out. We don't expect too much from him, but we just expect him to like be relaxed and do the good that is 
is known for. Now there are speculations actually that um, renovation is going on and preparations, you know, in, you know, in respect of his release. Yeah. So how true is that? You know, how are you guys preparing towards his homecoming? Definitely, we are. We can't wait to see him. We are expecting him very, very soon to come home, uh, to come and see his people, to come and relax. We, we, we can't wait to have him back. Yes. But what it did is far, far beyond imagination. We cannot compromise it. Hence, it should not be criticized because he has done a lot. The airport in Asaba, Ibori have the one that doing the foundation of the of the airport. And when you come to Ogara Kingdom, Ibori have brought us Delta State Teaching Hospital at Ogara. Ibori have brought a uh, Navy logistic. Bori have brought uh, 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 Mopo 51. Bori have do many things. What do for Ogara? That time we the rule, I not do Ogara. You understand, you understand me? I not do Ogara, but when I come, I see as in the uh, Ogara they open everywhere, road, water. You understand me? Uh -huh. and people not get job, they give their job. People say they don't even get money where they beg. He buy moto for them, take take do transport, he buy Okada for some, me they take your own to their self. So what really actually got him convicted in the first place? These are when chanting. Politics uh, is a very dangerous game. Sure you understand? Politics, I don't want to go into that. Politics is a very dangerous game. Oba soldiers have been in prison one way or the other. We can say maybe military era. Many people have got convicted. Uh, there was during those time of his trial, there was a lot of uh, allegations against him, like um, some allegations burden on uh, money laundering and some other financial misconduct. So I guess that was the reason why he was uh, convicted. I, I don't know because I am not a judiciary. I'm not a government. You no know, people say several things about him. Maybe he's being framed anyway. So I don't know why he's been, you know, they said he's convinced fraudulence and all that. But I don't see that because even while he was in governor, the allocation of the state is not much. Now they know what he made the arrest them. <laughs> so we don't know, we don't know about the arrest. What we know about they don't release our brother. Our brother don't come again. We don't say we're going to enjoy again. What is it going to PDP. Now they share the money. So would you love, would you must so much love a bori that this man is totally innocent of what happened, but it's because of political people who call themselves political godfather who, who spread themselves and feel that okay the rest should come about before them. That is the reasons why this man was suffering in jail, and I believe that is what has happened. Nothing like uh, money laundering. A bori has never picked a pin from this state. We will keep you guys posted. So please, please keep watching Butterbox.